hello students in this video we will solve one example of center of gravity so here we will find center of gravity of the area of the cardioid r is equal to a into bracket 1 plus cos theta okay so here uh, this is our cardioid and we have to find center of gravity of this plane region so this is a two dimensional object so for area in xy plane center of gravity will be x bar comma y bar because it lies in xy plane therefore z bar will be zero and the formula for x bar and y bar are this so as the density here is constant as it is not mentioned we will assume that it is constant so therefore this row will get cancelled from numerator and denominator for both x bar and y bar now for this uh, as we have equation in polar form area element dA will be r dr d theta so therefore and also because the cardioid is uh, symmetric about x axis so if you replace theta by minus theta in this equation and if equation remains unchanged we know that the curve is symmetric about x axis so in this case this cardioid is symmetric about x axis so by observation we can say the center of gravity should lie on x axis and therefore the y bar will be zero so we have to find only x bar now the formula of x bar is this where we will cancel out this row from numerator and denominator so we will get this x bar is equal to double integral over a x is equal to r cos theta and dA is equal to r dr d theta divided by double integral over a r dr d theta so we will separately calculate numerator and denominator so numerator is now our region lies in all four quadrants so theta varies from 0 to 2 pi and r varies from 0 to the boundary of the cardioid which is a into bracket 1 plus cos theta so when you integrate this we get so integration of r square will be r cube by 3 we will get a cube by 3 constant outside cos theta into bracket 1 plus cos theta q d theta now we will integrate this with respect to theta so we get this now here as these limits are from 0 to 2 pi we know that integration 0 to 2 pi of cos raised to n theta d theta will be 0 if n is odd and it is equal to 4 times integration 0 to pi by 2 cos raised to n theta d theta if n is even so therefore in this case the first term and second term will become 0 and we will get this a cube by 3 so because this cos square 2 is even so we will get 4 times 3 that is 12 integrations from 0 to pi by 2 cos square theta d theta plus here again cos raised to 4 we have so which is also e1 so we'll get 4 times integration 0 to pi by 2 cos raised to 4 theta d theta now we will solve these two integrations by using reduction formally so we get this which is equal to 15 by 12 pi a cube so this is numerator now we will calculate denominator so denominator is again theta varies from 0 to 2 pi r varies from 0 to a into bracket 1 plus cos theta r dr d theta now this is a simple integration we after integrating this we get d is equal to 3 by 2 pi a square so it also uh, in this case we have applied the same result that we applied for integration 0 to 2 pi cos raised to n theta d theta for power is odd the term becomes 0 and when it is e1 it becomes 4 times so denominator is 3 by 2 pi a square and therefore x bar will be 5 by 6 a bar and we already know y bar is equal to 0 therefore center of gravity for the cardioid r is equal to a into bracket 1 plus cos theta is 5 a upon 6 comma 0 so this is how we can find center of gravity for a plane lamina Thank you.